Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hopheads. Are we going to the Mocambo this Friday? You're paying for every last scratch. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in Vice Corps. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any other the officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Unit to handle code 2 identify. Who in God's name would eat at that hovel? They really picked a prize shithole for our first date. It's up the it's stairs, detectives. Around the corner, be last door on the left. Right? Come on, Dunn. I think I see a body. Your show now. Come on, I got... Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine? We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen, dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system, but those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do, but we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Small chance in life is probably better than no chance. 
These clowns lived on popcorn? Must have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. You can't have all the good ones, Phelps. Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Never the same, are they? Some kind of fruit, a bell, and win. Strange doodle. What's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music? I think I've seen it all. Another special order from the Caesar. In street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. What preparation? Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Come on, I got friends who work at the exam. How about 50 bucks? Please. Heavy for an empty cup. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. You catch all the good ones, folks. One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Never the same, are they? Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? Looks like it was always going to end this way. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Another special order from the Caesar. Another day, another dollar. Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in.
Get that son of a bitch. Stay on him. Pick the wrong cop, you fucking animals. All right, if you really want to dance. I'll be doing you a favor breaking that face. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. I don't need this. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Circumstantial. Any ideas? Get the kid's story. He's a small fry, but he could give us someone bigger. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? A cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. 
We're gonna go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's a, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. But you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. That's that guy from the paper. Got that big case. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, Detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as... 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thank you. Are you drunk, mister? You just cracked. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. All units in the vicinity and any central units. I was Citizen Hopgood. reports are 415 at 7th and Central. Who? Unit to handle code 2. Marlon identify. Hopgood. Your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh, right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, Roy. As long as Hollywood exists, it's gonna be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. He caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Here we are. Jermaine Jones, 238. Hey, who let you in? Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? Scott Phantom? 
fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. I hope none of this stuff is purloined, Mr. Jones. I have a receipt for that thing. Somewhere. <laughs> Doesn't give me anything to go on. Boys looking for work. What kind of act are you supposed to be? <laughs> and cut.
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez, R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilson. I am Jose Victor Ramez. Thank you. Read about the Carlson case in the paper? That's the top of solve it. Poor kids. We don't have anything like that. Are you drunk, mister, or are you just cracked? So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army's surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Roger, Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. What does this lunatic think he's doing? Whoa, watch it. We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Get him close. Steer him off the tar. Are you trying to cut? He's going left onto Hollywood. Get alongside him and take him out. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. That's it, Cole. You did it. His truck's history. Hands behind your head. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're going to take a look around inside. What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? There must be a way through the back. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. It smells of old people in here.
This is useless. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above. Anything? I can't be sure. Watch yourself, Roy. I'm gonna try shifting some of this. Are you kidding? Don't bring this junk down on me. This is an expensive suit. There's a cold room in the back. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna wanna see this. There's something frozen inside. Well, I'll be damned. This must be how they transport the morphine. It's like Santa's grotto for hopheads in here. Ice. <laughs> that's clever. Better than popcorn cups, that's for sure. Look at it all. This is big, boy. It's not small. Now we just need to get to the source.
Everything I do is above board, officer. What Time do you to check Jose's books? See where he makes his delivery runs. Try the front desk. I'll cover him. You get going. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Hmm. I think we know why Ramez has been ordering so much ice. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. Catch this, you asshole. Show me your face, motherfucker. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Detective Phelps. Look, Phelps, in a minute, a bag man named Rampley's gonna walk in here and put a mint on some horse running in the fifth. We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. He's the one we're gonna put away for fixing the race. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to it? Bingo. Here's what you're gonna do. Get in there, blend in, wait for our mark. He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash, then tail him. Good luck. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. Hey, isn't he the cop that won a medal for solving all those cases? Did you read about the Tarleton case in the paper? That's the cop who solved it. Poor kids. Losing everything like that. Give me a grand on Cavalcade the fifth.
way. Come on. This ain't New York. You coppers ain't God, you know. Got it, boss. A full G. She's coming in at 20 to 1. You and I are about to retire. LAPD! You're both under arrest! Car 11K calling KGPL. Ambulance required at Sunset and Ivar. Shots fired and suspects are down. We're code four, but I'll need an ambulance in a corner. Roger that, 11K. All units, be advised. The 44 at Sunset and Ivar is code four. Suspects are down. Closed. Has been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a GAT? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight to that suit of yours. Eyes open. Around here, so Throw out the door. Clear me some space here. What the hell is the matter? Can someone please just kill these? Eyes I'm wide open now. here. Anytime soon. Damn cover! Stay up! Oh. 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 I'm wide open here! Oh. Oh. How long do you think you can hold out? Clear me some space here! They're 
They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. So it comes. Oh! Oh! Let's have a look around. Now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Three guesses what's in the box. Open her up, Cole. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine.